Hello and welcome to this Gantt Up Explainer video, how to create a stakeholder register. You should first position yourself on the SHR sheet, stakeholder register. This video continues to demonstrate the entry of the textbook case study into Gantt Up. There is a maximum of seven stakeholders that may be entered. The project name is pre-filled from the project charter sheet and cannot be changed here. If you needed to change the project name, it would need to be changed on the project charter sheet in Gantt Up. Each of the columns from the textbook stakeholder register is included along with three additional columns. The recommended approach, which Gantt Up automatically fills based on your input, your approach, which is the approach you will select, and rationale, where you will explain why you selected your approach. So let's enter the stakeholders. The first is Casey Saradar. Again, this is directly from the textbook. The role, founder and CEO. Her level of power is selected as high. You just hit the drop down boxes. Her level of interest is also high. Notice the manage closely is automatically uh, entered and you can't change this gray column. Her level of support is supportive. Now, you'll need to enter what your approach is going to be. The, the textbook is recommending manage closely. And in this case, we're going to agree, manage closely. And now in this uh, cell, you indicate why you are selecting manage closely. And it shouldn't just be because that's the recommended approach. Indicate your reasoning. So in this case, we're going to say she is the CEO of the company. And if she develops concerns about the project, it could have a significant impact. So that's the reasoning. That's why we're going to uh, manage uh, the uh, manage the relationship with her closely. You should continue this for the rest of the stakeholders. And here's what it will look like when you're finished. Thank you for watching this video.